Tune into this week's Xamarin Show where I have my good friend Jonathan Peppers on telling us all how we can optimize our Android and Xamarin Forms Android images with a single line of code from a single NuGet. So tune in. Welcome back everyone to The Xamarin Show. I'm your host, James Montemagno. Today, I have one of my best friends in the entire world, Mr. Jonathan Peppers, all the way from, I don't even know where he lives, because we're that good of friends. How's it going, Mr. Peppers? <laughs> Pretty good. <Happy. laughs> Kentucky, actually. <laughs> Kentucky, that is right. I always forget. Yeah. I was like, new is somewhere over there. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Not a lot of tech happening. No, not, well, we got, they got you, and that's basically all they need. That's the tech, yeah. tech capital right here with Mr. Jonathan Peppers. So some people may not know who you are, so maybe give a little 30-second pitch of uh, who this Jonathan yeah. Peppered bearded man is in front of us. Yeah, I, I work on the Xamarin Android team, and lately I've been working on Windows, build performance, you know, trying to get those build times down, trying to get our builds more reliable, that kind of thing. Uh, I've been on Xamarin Android team for all, almost two years now, so I, I think, you know, we're really starting to make some progress on these things, so... Yeah, he is the reason that your Android builds are faster. I've seen it, and when we blog about it, it's totally true. But that's actually not why I decided to bring Mr. Peppers on. I decided to bring him on because for a long time, years if you will, he's been talking about Android images from early blogs to even like last week. All he does is blog about how much he loves and hates drawables and bitmaps. So maybe you could tell everyone why you're actually on Peppers. <laughs> yeah. So. Um... I had a Xamarin Forms app at a past job that was very image heavy, and we could see that we were having you know issues with bitmaps. And this is just a classic problem even to Java developers and Android Studio. So much so that Google actually, in their docs for images, they recommend, hey, don't do this yourself. Use a library like this, and then they link to a library called Glide. And it's a native Java library for, you know, loading images so you don't have to deal with that heartache yourself and managing memory and that kind of thing. Yeah, so why is it hard, I guess, from an Android perspective or from a Xamarin developer? I guess it doesn't matter if you're Xamarin Android or Xamarin Forms or like you're saying even native language. It seems to be a problem. So what is the core of the issue and then why does, how does Glide solve that? So the issue is a lot of times around uh, downloading images. Mm. So many apps you're going to have a URL and you want to present an image from that URL on the screen and to make that work properly you you need to have like an in-memory cache and like all this code that you know iOS it's just a little more simple to make that work um, and I think part of it is the fact that Java is a garbage collected language and you know there's some interaction there between a native bitmap in memory and Java. <laughs> gotcha. And then in Xamarin, you have not only the native bitmap, you have the C sharp bitmap. Then now you have two bitmaps really in memory that your pointers and garbage collection. I've written my own in memory cache, and it's it's a joy. So I'm glad that we no longer have to. So you're going to tell us how all of our developers can solve this. Is that correct? Yeah. Right. So what I did is I made a quick. Uh, well, quick. <laughs> but I uh, made a binding for the Glide library, and I made a way to hook this into Xamarin Forms applications. And so you basically just have to add a NuGet package in one line of code, and you can use Glide for images in your app. Now, that is uh, the absolute best thing that I like to hear. One line of code, and it just does it for you. Now, does this also work with normal Xamarin, Xamarin Android applications that are non-Forms? Yeah, so there's there's two NuGet packages. There's one that is just the binding, mm. so you could use that directly. Um, you would have to write some code to use Glide's APIs. Uh, it's not quite as easy to go that route, but you could. Gotcha. You and then with Xamarin Forms, which you're going to show us today, it just does it automatically. Yeah, Awesome. Exactly. Well, let's take a look. Do you want to head over to your desktop? Yeah, so what I've got here is uh, just a single page Forms app with you know, it's a grid in a scroll view with four columns. And what I've done here is, uh, this is obviously not what you would want to do in an app, but... <laughs> wait a second, created... wait a second. You don't want to dynamically load about 400 rows and columns 
all with a huge JPEG, perhaps, in rapid succession? No. Is that not good best practice? No. So this is a grid with 400 images in it, um, which you can see why, you know, <laughs> this could be a little sluggish anyway. <laughs> uh, but we're going to see how that works. Um, this is just me using forms directly right here. So this is out of the box, and this is loading an image. And what kind of image is it? Um, it is just a, a selfie from an iPhone. And I think it's, it, if it loads here, there you go. Mm -hmm. You see how each image kind of pops in slowly. Yep. And the scrolling, of course, this is an emulator, but the scrolling is you know, not less to be desired. Subpar, subpar, you may yeah. say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, of course, this is a large image. I mean, I think it is like two, two megabytes or four megabytes or something like that. That's pretty um, impressive that it's even loading all of these being a four meg image. That's a lot of memory. Yeah. So Forms has been working on that, the Forms team themselves, and this is better than it was a few versions ago. Um, this is like just what you get out of the box if you created a new project today. Uh, I think it's Xamarin Forms 3.5, if I remember right. Gotcha. Um, and so if we want, is there any like virtualization happening or anything like that? It's just a grid, right? Yeah, no. This is just a scroll view with those views, <laughs> all 400 of them, in in the scroll view. So, um, so let's say we wanted to add Glide to this project. Um, we can just kind of go to the NuGet package manager and search for Glide X. Got and it. here are the two packages I've created here. Um, GlideX.forms, if you're using forms, just install that one. Um, and the other one is the binding. Got it. So if you're doing just Android, the top one, Xamarin forms the bottom one, which includes the top one. Right. Cool. And so the, the next thing you need to do is open your main activity. And right after the line, you've probably seen this if you've used Xamarin forms, but Xamarin forms init you can type Android Glide Forms init. And that's it. Wow. That's it. One line of code. Done. Right. Done. <laughs> so I, I've not actually changed anything else. So um, we'll start the build here. So you haven't changed anything else besides initializing it. So does is there like a special relationship between Glide and, um, and Xamarin Forms then? Yeah, so what happens is uh, there's some interfaces and forms you can implement to handle images. Mm. And traditionally, there was one called iImageSourceHandler, and there's a new one called iImageViewHandler. Oh. And that is what uh, GlideX Forms is taking advantage of here. Um, basically, it's a callback where Forms says, here's the image it's trying to be loaded, here's the image view it's going to be placed in. And then I could just write a little glue code to call into Glide and make that work. Oh, very cool. Yeah, that's really nice to see kind of like a harmony between Glide, the library creators, and Xamarin Forms kind of work seamlessly. Yeah, and I, I, I did make uh, a contribution to Xamarin Forms to get that new interface. Oh, okay. So th this could be possible. <laughs> nice. Um, well, that's the beautiful part about, <laughs> about it being open source, right, is that you got to just do it. Yeah. I, I'm not on the Xamarin Forms team, but you know I was able to make this happen. So, so here's here's our updated screen, right? Uh, they're all up front. Bang, scrolling is smooth, even on this emulator, right? So this so, just is now loading hundreds of your beautiful face with what are those pom pom balls? Or something? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you have kids, uh, they're they're a toy called bunchums, right? <laughs> Put the put that in the, in, the, in the show notes below. Bunch of them. I'm gonna buy that for the Xamarin. Yeah, show. yeah. Well, I, we saw an article about how girls get them stuck in their hair, and then we discovered what you could do with them. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pretty awesome. Not only that, we get to look at a beautiful, beautiful you uh, here, but also, so you're just scrolling, and Glide now is hi basically hijacked it and, and loading all the images and doing all memory management and everything. Right. So I could um, have multiple URLs here, um, and it would it would have similar performance improvement. I could load um, resources. I could load from a temp file on disk. 
Um, all the ways you can load images and forms work. Oh, okay, way. so it's not so. just this. If you're using embedded resources, you're using resources in general. Like it'll just be drawables. So it'd be good. Yeah. The only thing I would mention is embedded resource, um, since that is a .NET thing. Um, Java does not know about it, so there is a slight perf hit for using that. Gotcha. Um, so I, w I would stick with just Android resource files if you're you know, doing Android development. I've always been a resources and normal application you know, in general because for me, it just sort of makes sense. I like to use the at 2x, at 3x, and all those things that you would expect. So that's what I'm about. But yeah, if you are using those embedded resources, good to know that sometimes you can't optimize everything. But it seems like this out of the box, if anyone's having issues with images, this is going to handle and solve all the problems. Yeah, it can, for sure. Now, on iOS or on Windows, does that not seem to be a problem? Those You said kind of iOS kind of handles it better? Yeah, I think. Uh, just natively, iOS is better at dealing with images. Got and I don't, I don't know if it, Google just never really wanted to solve that problem, or, or I think they're really trying to push people to use uh, Android resources. Gotcha. Um, and so they just kind of ignored this problem. <laughs> like, wait, images from the internet? No way. Impossible yeah, that any yeah. app would want to do that. Well, very and cool. Glide is even built, you know, it's an open source project. It's not, you know, it didn't come from Google, so. Gotcha. So GlideX is open source. Um, we have a sample app. We can put that up on GitHub. We'll put that in the show notes below. And of course, Xamarin Forms is open source. So not only can you create great libraries, you can go ahead and take a look at this source code. How to do the binding is probably super interesting to a lot of developers. Yeah, anything else you want to tell us about us, Peppers? I, I don't think so. I, I, you know, again, if I work on Xamarin Android, so if, if you guys run into anything uh, on Xamarin Android, we have a Gitter channel that you could hop in there and talk to us. Um, that might be something we could plug and get yeah. some people talking to us. Absolutely. I'll put links to not only all those GitHub projects, also to Peppers on Twitter. You can just tweet at him directly or to the Gitter. Peppers, thank you for coming on and blowing our minds with a single line demo. <laughs> that's, that's the best kind of demo. Just add this nougat done. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> well, awesome. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in to The Xamarin Show. Make sure you like and subscribe and watch a whole bunch of the awesome other Xamarin Show episodes. Peppers, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Hey, sounds good. <laughs> cool. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey, James here. Just wanted to check in and thank you for watching this video. Now do all the things that you know you want to do, such as like, subscribe, and ding that notification bell. Become part of the notification squad. While you're here, check out all these awesome videos that I've already recorded. Click on that thing. Click it. Watch it. Do it. <laughs>